Morning, folks. I think yesterday. Yesterday? Sunday. Remember how I was saying pilot has been so good? Guess we tore up the trash in the hotel room yesterday. Pilot. Is that the same way for kids? Like you're thinking, man, my kid's been so good. Then do this, do some like screwed up shit. I wonder if that's the same. Uh, homeboy's got a, his vet appointment today. Gotta ask him about that cavity he's got. He's got some weird sore in his mouth. The first one Dr. Melissa diagnosed as like dog herpes, which cleared up in like a week by itself. Like it just was like this just little white dot. Um, I don't know. That was a while ago though. So we'll ask some questions about that. Hopefully get that stuff answered. Um, that's on today's agenda. Thursday's supposed to be 92 freaking degrees. Like I'm in Maine. Isn't it supposed to be like cool up here? Like isn't this like Maine's like the Alaska of the regular United States, like the, the continental, the attached. You know, that's weird. The term continental, like as if attached to the continent, like... Hawaii, yeah, doesn't apply. It's a freaking island, right? So that's not in the continental United States. But, like, when you hear that term, I feel like, and maybe I'm just, maybe I'm assuming incorrectly, very well could be. I feel like when you hear that, Alaska's usually included in, like, the non-continental United States. You know what I mean? Like, off replies to continental United States, Alaska excludes Alaska and Hawaii. You know what I'm talking about? Like these offers or like stupid sales or something like that. Maybe I'm the only psycho that actually pays attention to what they're saying. That could like definitely be a thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm like pretty sure they loop Alaska in there, which it is connected. Like, it's connected. It's not connected on a map, usually. They show it down in the corner. But uh, other than that, the mofo's connected. It is kind of shocking though, how many people like don't know that, I guess. I've legitimately had people Ask her, well, how do you get, like, you can't drive from there and just take a ferry? What fucking school did you go to? It's definitely attached. Anyways. And then, like, you make a comment about their school, and then all of a sudden you're racist, and everything goes to shit.
Anywho. That's what's going on in this neck of the woods. Yeah, so... I usually remember to take the trash can and put it up on the uh, little desk that's in the hotel room. There's, usually, there's nothing in it. Nothing like... There's some seltzer cans. Like some paper towel. Like a plastic bag from like a snack or a sandwich or something. Uh, and that's it. Like there's pretty much nothing in there. But, I mean, there's definitely enough in there for Homeboy to smell it. Because, I mean, he could probably, he could, he could smell nothing. Not nothing, but you know what I mean. They could be like the smallest trace of any type of food particle and he's going to smell it. So came back, went in the room, and I'm like, oh, what's all over the floor? And he's all excited to see me, as usual. And then I'm like, what the heck? And then the, oh shoot, I forgot I did that earlier. Like, <laughs> like bro, since when has that been okay? Ever. Ever. But. Oh, and he brought a piece up onto the bed and shredded it on the bed. I got like super nervous and extra mad at it, like for a split second because I thought he tore up the comforter. And I was like, fuck, man. Like, it's not going to be any explaining that one. I mean, besides my dog ate it, like, literally. But it was it was a white bag. It was like a grocery bag. But the, the comforter's white, but I just see all this, like, mess, and I'm like, oh, no. False alarm. False alarm. We've got a new uh, guest in the house. Like the real house. Mr. Basil. We're gonna see how it goes. I I mean to my knowledge, it's a full sun plant. I have a habit of overwatering things. But I mean homeboy's soil is like dry. Like the rye. So we're gonna do a quick little splash in there. Oh, I gotta turn the water on. That's it. Just a quick little quick hitter. I don't know, we'll see folks. I don't know how that's gonna go. It'd be cool if I could sustain it. My cactus is doing quite well, but it's a cactus. So there's not, I feel like there's not a whole lot of uh, trying to go on there. Give it water once or twice, like every three months and like it should be okay. So. But I've had this sucker since like October. No, yeah, uh, no, November. November of uh, 21. It's nice and green. Look at him go. Now, I mean, there's no new growth, I don't think. I mean, there's no other like cactus pods coming up. Um, it does look like his roots are even getting a little too big for the container. Like I could see two root strands like on the bottom of the container but I don't know it just lives on the dashboard full sun and then I usually drown him like that's, that's honestly about once a month I'm thinking about doing it right now but I already know 
I watered it like uh, like a week or two ago. So I, I don't want to go over watering it, you know. Although I feel like that it would be okay because in the desert, like when it rains, it rains, right? So it floods. So I feel like it's used to having like both extremes, you know, like no water and too much water. So I feel like it would be able to self-regulate. I don't know. I mean, they have to be resilient. Look where they live, you know? But just me rambling out loud. This wrapper's in okay condition. Little dog hair won't hurt you. Um, other than that, folks, not a whole lot going on here. Uh, yeah. What else did I have to talk to the vet about? I don't think a whole lot. Um, we're going to go over the cavity, the mouth spot. Oh, and then I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask about his weight. Because that dude in, uh, where were we, in Kentucky was like, yeah, he's a little, he's slightly overweight. And I'm over here like, you high, brother? Um, but maybe I'm being biased. I see him every day. So I'm like, you know what? Like, maybe he is a little chunky and I just don't see it, you know? But for how much we do, like, there's no way. There's no way. And plus, like, he doesn't have the golden, like, you know, he doesn't have the golden retriever, like, straight line body. You know what I mean? Like, you could see his back legs, that his, his, I'm going to call it his waist, I don't know. His back, like, dips in a little bit at his back legs. Like, he's not just, like, a super, I mean, he, he's fluffy. So that's a thing, but when he's soaking wet, like, you could see, like, he's not fat. But again, hey, maybe I'm just biased. Maybe I'm just over here, like, no, my dog's not fat. Huh, bud? Where are you? Oh, well, he's gone. Uh, the bag yesterday for the coffee worked really well. That was a solid move. Um, I will continue to do that. Hey, look at that. There's still some coffee in there. Not much, but still, I mean, I don't know why I have a lid on my coffee cup if like any coffee is coming out, you know, like that just... Blows my mind. <sighs> yep, I think that's it. That's it. I don't know what it is, but I can't bring myself to only do iced coffee. Like, it's warm today. It's, what was it? It was 3.40 when I started. I told myself to only do a 20 minute video. It's 14 minutes. We're gonna be short, fantastic. So it is before 4 a.m. and uh, it is 68 degrees. And humid. I'm gonna leave a little bit early today so I can ride the bike extra slow so I don't sweat as much.
deodorant. That is like a thing. Most of you won't understand this. Nah, maybe you will. Um, living in one spot. It's like if you're traveling, right? Um, like say you're traveling to go see family and I don't know. They want you to like hang out at their house, right? Your stuff is in the hotel room that you booked because they don't have a big enough house. They got a kid uh, in the, you know what I mean? Or, or you, you just don't like them that much and you don't want to sleep there in their house. Like, I get it, you know? Um, it's like all your stuff is in the hotel, but then you're trying to live like at that house as well. Or like they want you to live at that house as well. You know what I mean? Like, oh, come over at like first thing in the morning. And you're like, all right, well, like I need to get ready. And like, oh, no, 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 just do it here. And that's when you just tell them, no, screw off. Like, this is what I'm doing. But most people are like, oh, okay. And so you're like, oh, my God, I got to pack everything. Like, all right, do I have my toothbrush? Do I have my shampoo? Do I have this? Do I have that? Like, uh, you know what I mean? And you're like packing bags to go places and do things. Like, I'm not buying two deodorants. Like, I only have one. I don't only, I only have a reason to have one. I don't think I'm... I'm not going to be here long enough to blast through, like, two sticks. Um, Dr. Melissa would argue that, but whatever. Where is it going with this? Oh, having two things. So, like, you'll leave and you'll go... To that other place like i'll go up to the hotel room granted like it's a minor inconvenience it's only like 50 yards that way not a big deal but it's just the fact of like you don't have everything where you're at like living in the van everything i have is here there's no like oh shoot i forgot deodorant like if i forgot deodorant that means i just don't have any so yeah that's been a thing And I don't want to take everything out of here because I still like on weekends, especially we'll just go out in the van like for the entire weekend. I don't want to not have my stuff in here or remember, oh, I got to pack everything out of the hotel room and bring it back down. Like ridiculous. That's what I say. Ridiculous. But all right. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to finish my coffee and eat breakfast.